Hey, Code's in the building. Code's in the building. <laughs> right, I want to look at the 369 energy. We just had a 369 day yesterday. <laughs> but this is how I see the 369 as controlling this realm, you know. It's a triple number system. So I see it in threes. You know, I look for the trinity in all things. And if you even look at the three times table, you'll see it goes in a three, six, nine formation. And I draw a few things here to give you like an idea, you know, like even through sacred geometry, you'll see the three, six and nine. And it looks like a Y, hence like a Y chromosome as well. Um, and if you look at like numbers in a grid like this, you'll do the triple number system there and it reveals the codes of like the number three code starts out as a one, four, seven. There's six codes, but it, that's how it starts. And then you've got the two, five and eight. You know, if you look at it going down and that's the code for the number six. And then you have the three, six and nine. So that will govern how the three and six work with each other. So it will alternate a current. So the three, six and nine are going to alternate the current into a one, two, four, eight, seven, five. And for me, that's the matrix code. It's running a hexagram. Two cubes like this. There's the symbols you might have seen. So for me, that's the red and the blue shift to get your purple, you know, the nine, to open the hex, to get out of the cubes, out of the matrix, into like a, become a star. Because in the center of the star is the hex, and you've opened them. Maybe that's all your chakra system. You're opening your chakras up and becoming a star. And you need really, for me, some heat. When the heat is on, <laughs> you can like expand and then that expansion will get you out of the matrix, you know, like the heat is on. And that's from the heart space. It's at the center where the number six would be. Because even there, look, you'll see the triple number system invites you to look at a triple five at the center, which three fives is 15, one plus five is six. So six will be at the center. But the triple number system is the vortex. So that's the vortex energy system, which is running this off to three, six and nine. So for me, like the five is like a pyramid. The fire, the fire in the middle, the pyramid. And that'd be at the center where the tetrahedron would be. So the sacred geometry comes in and invites us to look at the tetrahedron, the fire, which is at the center, fire in the middle, the pyramid. And that's how you make a um, tetrahedron. Well, really, you're joining up that wire. I could do that for you. So really, this wire, that's what a tetrahedron would look like. And that'd be at the center. So that can expand and open up the um, the hexagram or the hexagon into your become a star, star of David, so you get your light. So that's opened your mind to see. And that's what the three, six and nine energy will do. And obviously, well, it's not obvious, but there is a 1.618 there, as you'll see, fire, there's like five, there's, oops, that's like five again, fire, five. So that's like free energy as well coming in by the 1.618, which will go in a, f in a spiral fashion at, from the sensor point. And if you look at the sequences on the Fibonacci spiral, you'll see it goes um, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. And that's where I'm looking at seeing that the energy can come in by the five, like the same as the vortex, because it goes one, two, four, eight, seven, five, then it repeats itself. 
because this is actually the doubling system. Each number doubles, that's why it goes 1, 2, 4, 8, that would be 16, reduced to the 7. Then 32, reduced to the 5. 64 is 10, back to the 1. 128, that would be 11. 1 plus 1 is 2. So you're always going to get that sequence every time you double the number, it's a doubling. So um, really... The three, six, and nine is the free energy, what we can get in, into our bodies, through our chakra system, or through our chakra system. And it's a, a metaphysical energy, it's not a physical energy. It will control your physical energy. So that's how I'm seeing the three, six, and nine. And I'm seeing it actually in play in a loads and loads of math, loads of number systems, sequences, you can look through, I could probably display a few, and the 3, 6 and 9, it does, there's more sequences, there's 6 more, then it go 9, 6, 3, 6, 9, 3, 6, 3, 9, you know, so it go through with them, there's 6 of them codes for the 3, 6 and 9, so, um, yeah, I got inspired because it was a three, six, nine day. And it gives you that energy. And for me, if you start feeling this energy, like, because I feel that information is like what we're, we're built on. You know, our bodies. You know, we're in form. And we're in a formation. And that formation is running off three, six, and nine, and a 1.618. So we're information there, so data, DNA, maybe some knowing of this existence gives us that sort of energy, we know it's there. And it's not in your mind, it don't come in your mind, this energy really, it comes in by your heart. So if really at the centre we want to be, for balance. So yeah. Hopefully this 369, you can see it a little bit more if it wasn't, or it's in, inspired you to look at it a, a little bit more. There's loads to this. Like Tesla said, if you knew the significance of the 369, you would hold the secret to the universe, pretty much. Well anyway, I've been 1111 code. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.